So navigating the map. This button is going to let you relocate your guy, i.e. your block explorer. This button distinguishes names and district lines. Don't use this button. Use this site instead. It's called upixland.me. It's the best data site you'll ever use for Upland. The search button actually has way more than just properties. It's actually a full asset lookup tool in Upland. You can price check anything and you can find directories. Get Upix button is the shop in Upland. Your name in the top left is actually your profile. You can click on this. There's a whole bunch of buttons here, but they're not really that useful yet. At the bottom is the quick menu. Most important in here is the messages tab. You'll spend a lot of time in here. Next is settings. Here is where you'll find third party applications. This is where you'll connect to tools and games for Upland. Resources, explore, and missions will all help you earn and learn at the same time. Clicking on properties will let you see your rent. There's a whole bunch of other numbers here. Portal tab lets you bridge your sparklet in Upland and out of Upland through exchanges. You can withdraw your USD funds via PayPal. This is with Tilia, but don't worry if you're from a country that's not listed because I'm from Canada and they weren't listed, but we still got approved and people from India are still getting approved and yeah, they'll probably just approve you anyways, no matter where you're from. So FSA properties are specifically for new players under $100 in net worth. These are way easier properties to flip for a profit. You also want to limit your first deposit to $50, no more than so. If you're using a 50% deposit bonus, you'll get $25, keeping you under the FSA cap. If you don't have a referral link, you can use mine down below in the description. It's also here up on the screen right now. Okay, let's talk properties for a sec. Light green, it's never been owned before, and it's in range of you. Dark green, it's for sale by another player. Light blue means it's not for sale. Dark blue are your own properties. Light gray means it's out of range, or maybe it's unavailable. There's two different light grays. It's a bit confusing, but don't worry about light gray. If you don't have $50, deposit just $5 to jumpstart your Upland account. This helps you get access to all the marketplace features, and it's always recommended. You can do this for free, but it's a bit of a grind. Every time you level up, you also get free Sparklet. Sparklet is used to build buildings, manufacture assets, and you can also rent it out to other players for a profit. You use these things called Sends to move your block explorer. If you want to visit a dev shop, for example, you'll use Sends. What happens if you're not in the same city as where you want to be? Well, you'll use a plane, train, or a bus. Now, planes are a bit more expensive than trains or buses. Trains or buses will take longer, but they're definitely cheaper. Yellow planes are for international travel, and white planes are for domestic travel. There's a weird little thing with JFK, which only goes into Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens. You'll need to take the bus in order to get there. Again, you want to use upixland.me to find all the best deals. You want to set your visitor fees to the lowest you possibly can in all your cities to maximize the amount of visits you get. This is how you begin construction with Sparklet. Upland's always hosting contests, so you want to participate in these. They're pretty easy too. Depending on your status, you have to hold your properties for about 30 days or 3 days if you're executive status before you can sell them for USD. Before you list your properties for USD, make sure that you're listing in USD. Sometimes players click UPEX and, well, sell their property for 50 UPEX instead. You can also support our work over on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash uplandhelper. All these funds go directly very back into the content. Whew.